What's up, everyone? So this is going to be another episode of the day trading vlog. The first episode was trading during market volatility. So I was trading stocks like UVXY and Tesla. Now I'm trading stocks like INDO and IMPP. These were the oil sector runners before they ran up to crazy, crazy numbers. I was trading INDO when it was around you know, $21 and it went up to $85. And I was trading IMPP when it was around $2.20 and it went upwards of $9. So in this video, you're going to see me going long INDO. You're going to see me going short. You're going to see me talking about the sympathy play IMPP. You're going to see me trading, talking about prop firms and psychology and a bunch of other things. So at the end of it, we're going to recap all my trades and see how it went. And then the episode after this is going to be a trip to Utah that me and Bao went to. So please leave a comment. Please leave a like. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you dislike. Let me know if you want to see more of this content and enjoy the video. Well, today's already been fucking crazy, man. Like there's this one stock, INDO. It's a oil company. So it's some pump and dump oil company that's moving and charts been kind of going crazy. So I actually went long pre-market. So I basically bought the stock today and I flipped it for almost $4,000 already. Other than that, basically, we're just waiting for the market to open and hopefully the stock goes higher and we could short it. If not, there's another stock called IMPP, which is a sympathy play. So I can't really find many shares to short of INDO because it's very hard to borrow. I'm just gonna be watching IMPP. And the reason why these stocks are going crazy is because of oil. Russia, Ukraine, all this oil crisis is driving the price of oil up. And these pump and dump oil companies are going fucking crazy, bro. This INDO went from $2.50 to 20 bucks. So right now I'm trying to get shares to short of IMPP, which is a sympathy play, just in case I need it. This is a stock that's breaking out so it's going higher so i'm looking to ride that momentum up usually what i do is i short the momentum but i'm trying to adapt and get better by you know riding the momentum on the way up too you know market's gonna open up in 30 minutes right now the price of oil is dropping down so because the price of oil is dropping down this indo is dropping down so this stock is going to be heavily correlated with oil today so i'm going to have the price of oil up just to be able to monitor it but you know basically waiting for this stock to kind of tank at the open maybe if it tanks and rebounds look to buy it or if it goes straight up out of the open i look to short it so i can't really like i said i can't really get shares to short in this one so i'm gonna be watching the sympathy play to short so let's see what happens the whole thing going on is hard to borrow right yeah hard to borrow and expensive bro and you know i have the best broker out there right so i can't get it it's probably gonna be very tough for everyone else to get it a success trader basically used to work with institutions and hedge funds and now we got them to open up for the little guy so basically the little guy is now going to have access to everything the big guys have the market so far we're up 3,900 buying INDO. It's nothing too crazy. Basically, we're just gonna wait and see, bro. Well, market's gonna open up in 25 minutes. The sympathy play is going down, so I really like that. Are you in that right now? Or you no, just I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. What would uh, get you to get in there? I need a bounce, bro. I need these things to bounce because they're already so fucking weak. So are these now like a couple day plays or they just came up today? This INDO has been moving for the last week and it's been going up and down, up and down, up and down. And then today, finally, it just went fucking crazy, bro. Like you can see, it went from you know, three, four, five dollars to fifteen dollars, and now it hit around twenty-three, twenty-two dollars. So I don't really know, bro. This is the type of stock that could go to fifty dollars today. I have no idea. It has the potential to go fucking crazy. That's why I need to be really careful and focus on the side one, the sympathy play, the other one. I just want to be very, very careful for now. You go long on it. I went long pre-market in the morning. I have very little bit long, bro. Just like just in case it kind of goes fucking crazy out of the open. No, I think my ideal trade on this is shorting that sympathy play hopefully if oil is moving this stock i gotta look at fucking oil i'm not a fucking oil trader bro i don't know what the fuck oil is but i have to i know the trend i know what a trend looks like you know yeah. i don't need to know what fucking oil looks like i just need to know what the chart looks like and because i know what the chart looks like i could trade pretty much anything yeah no dude the war makes oil go up dude so here's how it works fucking putin the dictator of russia their number one export is fucking oil so when they threaten war when they threaten all that shit bro the price of oil shoots up putin is probably the smartest guy in the world he's banking on oil right now bro he's selling oil to everyone for 20 30 40 percent more and now we're gonna pay six seven eight dollars per gas that's the shit that people don't talk about bro they don't talk about the fact that oil going up is bad for the little guy do you want to pay fucking six dollars a gallon no bro <laughs> my order was to sell at 1998 it hit 1998 and they didn't fucking give it to me so right over here hopefully if it keeps going it's about to sell the position sold 
So we made extra 700 bucks. Now we're up 4,600 on the day. Do you miss working at New York? I miss the people. I don't really miss anything else because like truth be told, bro, I'm not proper. Bro. I'm not a suit and tie. I'm not a button down. I'm not a comb over. I'm not a how are you sir type of guy, bro. It's just not for me, bro. I respect so many people there. They make more money than fucking God there, but it's just not for me, bro. I don't want, I don't want to commute into New York City. I don't want to fucking have a boss. I don't want to have someone that tells me what I could do, what I can't do. And I like doing what I'm doing, man. I mean, do you miss the fact that you were using someone else's money? Yeah, that's great. But like, it helps. But I also don't miss giving them half my money when I make it. Bro, imagine I make best day of my life and I make a million dollars in a day, right? So my best trade, bro, is AMC. AMC, I made 700 grand in one day. And imagine, I would have to give them 350 grand. Or I could just do it myself and keep my fucking money. I remember you were uh, they had a therapist in the office. That's actually a funny story, man. I can't believe you mentioned that. So this guy, Brett Steenbarger, is a published author and a trading psychologist. So if you know Billions, he's basically Wendy from Billions. And he works with the top traders, hedge fund, institutional guys that manage $100 million, bro. So this guy is the therapist, the trading doctor for people that manage $100 million. So if I'm managing $10 million, bro, fuck, bro. This guy knows how I could get to that next level. So he's a great friend. He was a great mentor and I do miss him. But right now, bro, it's too expensive for me to rehire him. They gave him for free. So that is what I miss the most. And that's actually a great point, bro. I never had therapy before, bro. I've never had anything like that. So for me, having that was something that I was skeptical about. And now I understand why people go to fucking therapy. Oh, fuck. Stock is going fucking crazy. I sold way too fucking early, bro. But it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? I'm complaining that I didn't make enough fucking money. It could just drop at that moment, can't it? It could do anything, bro. News could come out that the fucking CEO just touched a little kid. Cook them out right now. Stock goes to zero. The hardest part is finding the right stocks to trade. That's the hardest part. Knowing which ones are real and which ones are scams. And the stocks that we play, bro, 100% of the time are fucking scams. Okay, also one more thing is, this INDO is on buy-in. So what a buy-in means is when you short shares, when you short a stock, the broker has two days to find those shares to short if you're holding it. A lot of people, what they do is they hold this stock and then maybe for whatever reason, the broker can't find the shares after two days. If that happens, the broker forces forces you to buy the stock. But when the broker forces you to buy a stock, stock shoots up. Today, INDO, there's no short locates and there's buy-ins. They're forcing everyone to buy the shit. So it's elevated buy pressure. That doesn't mean that it's gonna fucking shoot up, but it's another reason why it might have a little bit of trouble fucking tanking, you know? Uh, the IMPP, yes. Yeah. So okay. uh, what made you short that? Because it went over Leo up or like- INDO and IMPP, they move together. IMPP is definitely way weaker than INDO. So if INDO pulls back and I can't short it, I wanna fucking attack INDO. IMPP. Both in the oil industry and for whatever reason, traders are like pumping it together, I guess, or whatever. Right. It's just sketchy right now, bro. Market's gonna open up in eight minutes. We don't fucking know, bro, what the hell's about to happen here. You know what I'm saying? I think we're not the type of people, bro, to like just work the same thing every day at nine to five and do the same exact thing every day. You know, like you do the stocks, I'm can't. traveling every day, like can't you're seeing do. new things. You're always like seeing something different on the computer. You know? That's what life is about, bro. Life is about just like doing what you want to do, man. Like, Trading is giving me so much fucking freedom, bro. You see me, bro. I, it's all because of this fucking job. And this job is the hardest fucking job in the world, bro. I hate it every fucking day, but it's what gave me my life. You I think know? you love the education part, though. I like helping people, bro. I like helping people because I wanted someone to fucking help me when I first started. If Bao didn't help me when I first started, bro, I would've been a fucking nobody. Aside from fucking business, trading, everything, like, I love that guy. So we got three minutes until the open and this INDO just fucking trapped. So because this INDO keeps going higher and higher and higher, I am not adding to my sympathy play. I'm not adding. I might even eat a fucking small loss on it so that I could be fucking focused. But this INDO, bro, either right at the open, right now it's at 21.50. Right at the open, it's either gonna go to 20 or 25. We're about to fucking find out, bro. I sold at 20 bucks and five minutes later, it's 22 bucks. But still, bro, I'm up $4,600 on the day. I'm doing okay. Yeah. It's nice and fucking slow. Like, I don't need to be making fucking millions of dollars a day. $4,000 a day, bro, is a million dollars a year. If you can make $4,000 a day, that's a million dollars. That's all you have to remember. Okay, Mark is about to open up in one minute. Focus IM, IMPP right now. IMPP to short if INDO tanks. Only if fucking INDO tanks. If INDO doesn't tank, I cannot fucking short it. Fucking do it, boss. Shorting some IMPP here, because I think this INDO is gonna tank. Oh, fuck. Oh tanking. My God. It's tanking. IMPO, Shorting huge. a lot of IMPP. That's fucking, you see that fucking candle, bro? So right now we're short IMPP. That's crazy, INDO. That's fucking nuts, dude. My average is 239. This INDO goes lower. <laughs> this IMPP should fall. Yeah, they'll follow each other. But you said that the, M, the IMPP was hard to borrow or was... 
INDO was really hard to borrow. I couldn't get shares to short, but IMPP, there was uh, shares to short. So it's INDO is bouncing. So it's IMPP should bounce. INDO, they want $2 a share to locate it. So if I want to short it, I got to pay $2 a share. So I got to make more than $2 a share on it. If I had shares to short of INDO, I'd be shorting INDO right now. I break even at 18. So if the stock is that stock, stock's at 20 bucks. It goes to 18, I break even. So under 18 is where I make money. It's too expensive. It's about to break. Look at this shit. It's done. These top wicks, they keep coming back. Every time it tries to fucking bounce, it keeps fucking tanking. So that's not good. We, it, if the stock wants to go higher, it's supposed to go higher, not immediately reject after that. You know what I'm saying? Right. That immediate rejection is what's the dangerous part. It, IMPP is not as weak as I was expecting. I don't know if because it's IMPP. NDO is holding up, but I'm surprised it's not tanking hard. This IMPP, the sympathy play. You shorted it at like a better time, so you. I shorted like 239, 240. It's at like 235. Yeah, I'm up, but like trying to go for like 220s, 210s. It all depends on this INDO. So if INDO goes ape shit, this is gonna go ape shit. Bro, this INDO went crazy straight up, and this IMPP is falling Holy too. Look at that, bro. It's two minutes. But I'm gonna add into this IMPP because it's not bouncing as hard as I was thinking it was gonna bounce. I want INDO to give me a signal. If INDO gives me like a signal that it's going down, then I add, you know what I'm saying? Very well. See how it immediately came back down? Now I have to fucking short. Now I'm waiting to short it. You know, I want I want to bounce or short it. I got a little bit at 252, very little. I want to hit him and then I want to spit in its face. That's what I want to do. So you know, bro, I said fuck it and I located INDO to short. So I shorted some INDO. I paid $1.50. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm short right now at 23.78. Right now we're about 5,800 if we take the profits. Oh shit, look, now 58, now we're six grand. Okay. Look at this, bro, look at this. Let's make a comparison. INDO is above VWAP, IMPP is under VWAP. So if INDO breaks under VWAP, this shit's about to break the law of the day and go back down, bro. So this sympathy play is always the one to fucking focus on because no one else gives a shit about it. And because no one gives a shit about it, bro, then that, that gives us an edge. What we'll do, bro, is we'll keep going until like 10.30. I'll wrap it up at 10.30 and what we'll do is like at the end of the night, we'll like check back in and like see what happened. When we last left, it was at 10.30, the stock was at $21. Remember that, the INDO? So this is what happened, come check this out. After 10.30, the stock kind of went up a little bit to 25, right? Went up to 25, and then slowly but surely, towards the end of the day, the stock fucking cratered from 24 all the way down oh to 17.50. What time was that? That was around like three o'clock. So that's what the chart looks like. Right around here is where you left at 10.30 right. and then it just crashed right into the close, just crashed. So last time you were here, how much were we up? Uh, about 10, over 10K. 10,000, now we're up about 15,700. Wow. And that's why we wrapped it up for the day. Yeah. And then remember that other stock, IMPP, it was around like 240, 230. Yeah, yeah. Same fucking thing, 250 down to 195. That's so it. we're going tomorrow with that. Utah, baby.